I received a question about how to find the p-value for the second to last question on tonight's homework. So I am going to go through the process of finding the p-value in StatKey. After exercise, massage is often used to relieve pain, and a recent study uh, shows that it may also relieve inflammation and help muscles heal. In the study, 11 male patients who had just strenuously exercised had 10 minutes of massage on one quadricep and no treatment on the other, with treatment randomly assigned. After two and a half hours, muscle biopsies were taken and production of anti-inflammatory cytokine interleukin-6 was measured relative to the resting level. The differences, control minus massage, are given in table one below. Okay, so I'm gonna need these differences to put into stat key, so I'm gonna just jot them down really quickly. Um, 0 0.6, 4 0.7, 3.8, 0 0.4, 1.5, negative 1.2, 2.8, negative 0 0.4, 1.4, 3.5 and negative 2.8. Okay, and I should have, um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of them, and I just double check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, we've got them all. Okay, so now I'm going to go to stat key. Okay, so here is stat key. Now I am testing to see if they, um, let me just go back here for one second. I am testing to see if there is a difference. So I'm gonna test to see if the mean of these numbers is um, greater than zero. If it is, then it looks like the muscle by, then um, it looks like massage helped reduce inflammation. Okay, so we're testing to see if the mean is greater than zero. Okay, so now that I know what I'm doing, I'm gonna go back into stat key. So I'm testing for a single mean. Now, there are a couple of things that I need to do here. One is that I don't have the correct data in here, so I need to edit the data and put in the data from my actual situation. So I'm going to get rid of what's here. Now I'm going to put in the differences that were given in the problem. Okay, and I've got 0 0.6, 4 0.7, 3.8, 0 0.4, 1.5, negative 1.2, 2.8, negative 0 0.4, 1.4, 3.5, and negative 2.8. Okay, and again, I'm going to just make sure I got them all. I've got 0 0.6, 4.7, 3.8, 0.4, 1.5, negative 1.2, 2.8, negative 0 0.4, 1.4, 3.5, negative 2.8. There they all are. Okay, so I click OK, and I can see the results from my original sample over here over here. So um, I can see that 10 is 11 and that my sample mean, and that's going to be my sample statistic, that is going to be um, 1.3 is my X bar for the differences. Okay, <clears throat> now I want to generate the randomization distribution to figure out how surprising it would be to see a mean of 1.3 or even larger if the null hypothesis is true. If I'm going to do that, I need to make sure my null hypothesis is, is set correctly. Now, right now it's set to 90.6, so I need to change that. My null hypothesis is that the mean is zero. I click OK. And now I can generate my randomization distribution. Now I'm going to do 5,000 samples. So 1,000 once, twice, three times, four times, five times. Now, I need to figure out what is the chance that I would see an observed statistic as extreme as 1.3, so out here, or even more extreme. So I'm going to look for the percentage of dust out here beyond 1.3. The way I'm going to do that is I'm looking, since it's a right-tailed test, I'm going to click on the right tail, 
And now it's automatically going to default, give me the, the cutoff point that's going to give me 0 0.025 in the tail. But I need to change that because I don't want to know what percentage of these dots are up above 1.273. I want to know how, what percentage are up above 1.3. So I change my cutoff by clicking on it to 1.3. And this gives me my p-value. So my p-value here is um, 0 0.023. And that is how I find the p-value using stat key. I hope this video helps. Have a good night. Oop, wrong button, sorry.